What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play. Today, I've got some more Hearts of Iron 4. This is the Kaiserreich mod. We are playing as Tsardom of Bulgaria. Last episode, we were continuing to build up our country after annexing Bohemia up here. And what we're really lacking in our country is steel. Continued. So, I was looking around the maps and such, um, and I noticed that the Russians continue to take a beating here from the French and the British. Now the Japanese are up against them as well, and all of their sort of allies. And so the Russians getting squeezed from all sides, and so I thought, well, hey, that's probably the way we want to go in terms of future expansion of our country. And so, um, in order to prepare for this, Right, because I'm, I'm thinking there's going to be tons of Russian and German troops occupied up here this way and such. You can see the French actually have divisions down here as well. We're going to look to actually move into position against Ukraine over here. So let's give them a front line order of here. Offensive line is going to look something like this. Right, We're going to try to move into the Crimea. Let's go ahead and move here. Okay, and then yellow group, your front line order is going to look something like this. We do need to tell them to go ahead and get off of this line here and here. Uh, yellow group, go ahead and assign up here. Awesome. Teal group, we're going to bring you off of the Egyptian line here. And we're going to move you up to the same line as yellow group there. We're going to need to give you guys an offensive line order that looks something like this. We're going to try to drive northwards there. Same with yellow group. So now we've got our offensive plans sort of in the works now. We've got great stockpiles of all equipment, including air power. And so here come... Nice. Here come the um, red group now with 46 divisions. And they're telling me they are not looking really good in terms of overall... Um, superiority here. So 600 available here. Let's give 300 tactical bomber threes. Let's also give them some fighters, right? We're going to give them 300 fighter threes there as well. And they're going to be assigned to Ukraine there once the war kicks off. So we're going to need to do some preparation here before actually moving into an attack position. Uh, 63 ships here. We're going to continue building them up, but I'm thinking I'm going to assign them to the Black Sea and trying to keep superiority over there in the Black Sea overall. Ukraine has how many divisions? Up to 36. We have 46. So this could be the death of us. I don't know. We don't really have a lot of other expansion paths available except to jump in on the side of the Third International there who seems to be winning the war pretty nicely. Let's get this one here that's going to improve our U-boat our stuff. Again, we do want to pick up that steel because we're missing 106. The good news is with missing 106, all that's really suffering right now is my naval production. So everything else and everyone else here on the front lines are pretty damn good. Uh, we're stacking up those medium tanks there continuously, making almost seven of those per day. Uh, we've got four extra military factories, and I'm going to take them and plug them into motorized production. We do have 24,000 of those extra handy. So in doing that, okay, good. That did not affect anything else really that badly. So that's good news there. The divisions here in the south are actually looking pretty, pretty good against the Russian Empire there. So if we go like this, uh, details, justify war goal against Russia, or should I just go ahead and justify it against Ukraine here? I think I may justify against Ukraine. Conquer Odessa, 125 days. Let's get the send off the preparation there. So as we, oh wait, well the Ukrainians actually uh, may get cut off here. So this could be an absolute waste of. Yeah, this looks like it could actually be a waste of political power. So let's cancel our justification here. And I'm actually going to go ahead and, and justify against the Russian Empire themselves. Conquer. Uh, oh, nice. Georgia. 
It's only going to cost me 30 days there. So I've got my 46 divisions ready to help the French here in support of moving into Ukraine slash Russia. The, what's left of the German Empire up here is very much so gone. So I think let's go ahead and train up some new infantry units here. Put you guys in Montaigne. And what that'll do is give me some extra divisions at our disposal. We've got 890k in manpower. Uh, we are getting 3,000 men per month there, per tick. And so what's good news about that is it'll actually help us boost up a little bit. Okay, more refineries coming out now. And if I take a quick look, uh, oil, we've got a nice surplus of oil going. Ukraine, I'm going to go ahead and turn off your order because we're about to go to war with you. Uh, turn off this one. Turn off this one for the Dutch East Indies there. Surplus of 17 now. Colombia will turn you off. Whoops. All right, cool. Dutch East Indies. Surplus of 13. Persia. Okay, nice. We're actually self-sufficient in oil and rubber now. After building those synthetic refineries. That's what I like to see. So, constructions-wise, Kingdom of Cambodia has capitulated. Okay. Let's get a couple more military factories up and going because I do think I want to uh, start producing out some more motorized, probably. Even, maybe even some more air. All right, so my nearest air base down here is this guy. He's only got a space of 200. So I'm going to put 100 fighters in. And then we're going to put 100 tactical bombers in. Attack bomber 3. There we go. Sweet. So we're going to use those tactical bombers as close air support as well. So the justification against Russia here should be done and finishing up shortly. Uh, we have all divisions assigned up here, so we're going to jump across the border there pretty easily is what I'm thinking. Um, as Ukraine looks to jump in, these are from Polish Republic down here. Pol yeah, the Polish are actually completely done. Advanced computing machine is finished. Awesome. I want to make sure we're getting the next level of encryptions and such. I'm actually going to go for decryption first there. 10 more days on the formation fighting, which I'm sure we can spin around and uh, maybe even try to get that encryption going. Yep, my steel imports there lacking continuously. And so let's take a look over here. You see we're going to get 13 steel right off the bat. If we're able to drive through on Ukraine here, we're going to get 56 steel up this way, and then even further this way up towards, what city is this? Dun dun dun, Saratov. You've got more steel going up this way. So we're hoping to make a quick move. I've got a lot of tank divisions centered up over here. Um, we could, I'm hoping we do not get held up here against the Urals. We'll see. The Russians have now moved divisions into position here. So our justification did not occur quick enough, did it? 25 days so far out of 30. So that's going to be coming up. Modify the government here. Foreign minister. Uh, I am currently national social. So this one here, focus defense. Land, forward construction speed. There goes the formation flying. Uh, this one here... Social conservative, incapable of holding this post, same ideology opinion, just for justify world goal time, improve relations opinion. Okay. Focus on offense plus fifty percent. Desire to call allies. See, these, uh, these slots here are not necessarily helping me other than focusing on offense or peace or defense. We can't actually put in any of these, so let's put in one of the focus on offense guys, I guess. This one. Foreign Minister, okay. 
let's also pick a new research. I'm actually going to swing around here and get the next level of encryption. 81 days there, not too bad. Eight days left on the next oil plant, so we can swing that back around to an air doctrine if we choose. Oh, you can see them stacking up on the lines over here now pretty heavily. I've got several divisions stacked up back here as well because we don't have enough infrastructure. Okay. We finished the justification. We're going to go ahead and move in. Declare war on the Russians. Look at all the potential enemies here. N yes, nice. Lithuania, Poland, Mongolia, etc. Okay, we declared war on Russia. Finally. Right, let's tell our air power here to go in. Caucasus region. Air superiority, close air support. All right. Uh, this one here, you guys are going to be assigned to Ukraine. Close air support, air superiority. Nice. And has anyone else come into the war yet? Not necessarily. So let's tell Teal Group and Yellow Group to go. Go. Okay, here come all of the Russian allies now in against us. Including the Ukrainians there. So we're going to tell Red Group to go. Sultanate of Yemen is actually in here again. Way down here. Okay, so I don't necessarily need to worry about that. We do control Cyprus. Taking a quick look at the air stuff here. Ukraine and Caucasus, we've got air superiority. It's good to see. So here comes Red Group now, making moves forward. And wow, they're making quick work, aren't they? This one down here in the south could be a little bit more slow going, as we have to get across the Urals here. Um, here come the rest of the Teal Divisions now, up to help out. Kingdom of Vietnam has capitulated. But we are showing some green here across the fronts and such. Um, France and everybody wants a non-aggression pact, but I'm going to deny everybody of that. 12k in overall casualties so far, versus the Russian casualties of 20k. So we're making good moves there. We're going to swing this back around to an air doctrine now. Uh, hunt and destroy. 162 days. How's the air stuff going? Still looking really good. Okay. No enemy planes in the area for either one, really. So we are bombing enemy troops here and here. Wow, lots of enemy bombed troops in Ukraine there. Okay, red group. We're going to take your line now, and your front line order is actually going to be shortened a little bit. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Front line, there we are. Do that. Okay, so that's going to bring those extra red divisions up into the front of Ukraine there. Let's drive down towards those 56 in steel. We need them. Non-aggression pack from Kingdom of Thailand. It's also time to send in our fleet to the Black Sea to hold superiority of that. There is going to be some Ukrainian shipping there, most likely, but we have a nice, huge fleet there versus 37, a fleet of 37 over here for the Ukrainians. I've got several, several battleships there. How are we looking here now? Pretty damn good. Move this to speed three for the time being now. Uh, this guy, move forward here. Three infantry divisions here. Let's move you guys in in an attack going this way. We're going to try to spread out the lines even further going that way. This guy's moving here. We're going to tell him to move upwards even more. Restore the kingdom of Georgia. No. Continue with the occupation, yes. Okay, we are getting some military factories now available. So let's plug that into motorized production. Okay. Dockyards as well. With a total of eight. I think I'm going to plug you into convoys there. Very nice. Still have that steel need for now. Still fighting in the Black Sea there with our German Empire. It's called Fressesat Cologne in against us. However you say that. All right, here are these three divisions. Let's actually have them move forward even more so. You're going to move up here. Yep, calling in those African nations now against us. 
going to push forward there with those divisions. All right, cool. These guys are retreating out, so let's push forward with them. Madagascar is now against us. We're going to attack here where they have some really low organization. How are you looking from an air war standpoint? Still really good. Still showing his green in those both of those areas. So enemy troops still being bombed out now. And let's tell this tank division to start mopping up down here towards the Crimea. I'm going to send him down here. Vietnam now against us. Let's try to uh, take Sevastopol. Mop up all of that territory. Meanwhile, we're going to victory point rush here to Yusufa. We could even have Red Group meet up with us over here once we make our way around the Black Sea a little bit and try to trap in all of these Russian troops. There he goes now with the rush. This guy. Just rush those three provinces there. Tell this guy to mount an attack going here. That's not going to go well. Everybody else trying to spread out a little bit there across the faces of Ukraine. Down here. Uh, I'm afraid things may get bottled up down here, so let's continue spreading out. Like this and this. They're trying to try to post up in the mountains, but if we can at least get over those damn mountains, it's going to be good news for us. Cav unit, come up this way. Let's double check on the actual um, casualties now. 61k versus 69k for the Russians, 10k for the Ukrainians, 15k for the Polish. So, yeah, we're moving in really nicely now on the Ukrainians. However, um, I'm imagining things could stall out pretty badly in the Urals there. We're going to attack from all sides there against that guy. So continuing to move forward there. Let's have this guy move in like this. Awesome. We'll take him one more round here. Oh, I mean, we're in danger of getting surrounded there. So I need to let the guys spread out across the lines there a little bit better. Ah, having to retreat out of that area now. 13, uh, 13 divisions here. Let's go ahead and push. We're going to have these tank divisions lead the charge there as well. What are we losing the most of now? Because we do have extra factories, uh, infantry equipment for sure. Uh, what's the next biggest? Artillery, support equipment production line. Uh, let's go ahead and put in for this. Okay, still got a bunch more factories that we can assign. Let's put in those anti-tanks, right? Anti-tanks, we're losing those. Yeah, but only at 13. So, let's scale back right there, and as we pick up more military factories, we can actually look towards... Uh, Insufficient resources, steel 157. Okay. Gonna about to pick up a lot of oil over here as well. We made it to the top of the mountains here. Okay, still looking good over here. Let's take this guy and take the port like this. Continuing to move up and past the mountain tops here. Okay, there they go. How are we looking from an air perspective? Still pretty damn good. Ukraine continues to be covered for us. Ooh, the Black Sea currently seeing this. Uh, so, we now hold Sevastopol. Let's put in some fighters. Fighter, fighter, fighter. We're going to throw in 300 into there. Belarus is now capitulated. Okay, so that actually moved back out. Uh, let's actually take this one and lower the limit. 
to 100 uh, fighters. Kingdom of Laos is now against us. Okay, still trying to roll forward here, bit by bit. Defending there pretty nicely. Let's roll in like this. Cambodia, yep. Now against us. So still trying to move forward here as we push northwards towards Kiev. We're 30 victory points. That's pretty baller. Uh, let's tell Red Group as well with your front line. Move back like this. There we go. 17 divisions. 29 versus 29 divisions. Just get rid of this. Jeez. Get rid of this. God, that's so annoying. 46 divisions. Go. Damn, that's so annoying. All right. Let's move in on Gronsky here. Gronzi. We'll throw in some medium tanks there as well. So they're moving in nicely. Awesome. The war is kicked off. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or comment if you've enjoyed my content. And we'll catch you next time.